Hi YouTube viewers, this is Vicious Animal Thing doing another review today. Today I'm reviewing the NZXT 850 Watt Hale 82 series power supply. This power supply has a five year warranty. It's an 80 plus bronze certification. It's got a 12 centimeter fan, a single 12 volt rail, Japanese capacitor, and is modular. Looking at the back of the box, you can see the DC output and max power for each rail. So 3.3 volt has 25 amps, 5 volt is 25 amps, and the 12 volt single rail is 70 amps. Um, here you can see more features, 100% uh, Japanese capacitors, 120 millimeter thermally controlled low noise fan, extended flat modular cables, two 8 pen CPU connectors, six four pen peripheral connectors six plus two pen PCIe connector six of those and eight modular SATA connectors one of the nice things about having a single 12 volt rail versus several that are split up is trying to balance the power for example if you have a high-end system with multiple video cards in a crossfire or SLI configuration Trying to balance the load between the different separate rails can be difficult, so it looks like uh, PSU manufacturers have addressed that by um, making power supplies with the single 12 volt rail. Okay, inside the box you have a bag of, I assume, probably modular cords, mounting screws, new power cord, and the power supply itself. It's packaged pretty well. Fan back. Sticker. Semi modular means that some of the cables that you use to power different peripherals and stuff you plug in. So you don't necessarily have to have them all and then there's certain cables that are permanently mounted to the power supply and here you can see the length of the cables that are built in very long that should have no problem working in a full size case and that's even longer there here's the cables this is for the older molex and there's three molex connectors on each one of these this looks like a uh, dual SATA power cable, triple SATA power cable, another triple power SATA power cable, PCI Express power, a CPU power, and then what's built in is the 24 pin. Uh, that's the dual four pin for motherboard PCIe six and eight pin PCIe six and eight pin it does come with a small document that just basically reiterates some of the information on the box and does give a little bit of instructions about how to install the power supply fortunately they're fairly straightforward as far as installing but it looks like they basically break it down to about five steps. Here's a coverage of different connectors and what they can be used for. One thing to note is this power supply does not come with anything to power floppy disk drives. You'll probably need an adapter if you do have a floppy disk drive. So now it's time to move on to installation which will be a separate video so look for part two and I uh, hope this has been helpful. This is Vicious Animal Thing saying thanks for watching.